we go. Rock's going in. Go free, little guys. We turn this recyclamen right here into an aquarium, like this. What is going on, Kafaros? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we are, uh, are making a pond slash aquarium out of a recycling bin. Before you, you're like, what? I saw this recycling bin on the side of my house. Got three of them. I took one of them, now they get two. Dude, not only is recycling good, so I'm promoting recycling, right? But we're actually gonna make like a dope aquarium out of this. I got liner, I got the bin, I mean, it's gonna be sick. First and foremost, though, we gotta get the materials in order to make this thing look good. So we're gonna head to Walmart and do just that. Get all the stuff that we need uh, beforehand. Okay, and now that we've got the recycling bin, which is the base of our aquarium, we're gonna have to come over to Walmart, which you already know, that's where we're at. And we don't need a filter this time because we have an aquascape pump, which I'll be showing you that in just a second when we get back home. What we do need from here is gravel, because we get gravel every time we do something like this. Ooh, definitely white. Let's do two bags of white gravel right there. These uh, went live last video yesterday. Oh, and this sucker right here. Lulu merch is now live on hawkfarrowbrand.com. Top link in the description, check it out. I think we should get some sort of aerator. Gotta have an aerator, just for the fun of it. Well, let's do a stick. They're only two bucks, two dollars. Oh, two bucks, man. Two dollars and 77 cents. Get a stick there, nice cord for, uh, this is $1.88. Now we need the thing that makes the air go I can't find the thing that actually pumps the air, like the, the motor, the machine, the... Oh! It is right here in front of our face, 877. We're gonna get one of these. We already have a bunch of plants left over from other videos that we did similar things to this. Now, maybe a decoration to go on the inside. We probably should get something. Oh, well, the sides are black, so you're not gonna be able to see it like a fish tank. Uh, yeah. So there's no point in getting any, like, sort of structure. Does this actually glow in the- $3.22. Manta ray glows in the water. Should we literally just buy it just to see if it glows? Why not? All Three right. bucks? Yeah, we're, we're just gonna buy that to see if it actually glows in the water. What do you guys miss? You think this cheap little manta ray right here is going to glow? My guess is no. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work, but I could be wrong. All right, so we got our manta ray, we got our air pump, and our air stick, and our air tubing, and our bags of gravel. We got the recycling bin at home, the tarp at home, and that's pretty much all we need in order to do this. Oh, and the pump is at home too. I think we're set. Let's get all this in the cart, go check out, and uh, head back home, set this sucker up. Walmart. Dude, nice. They need to clean the aisles. The one of a kind Lulu shirt, dusted. It's gone, man. All right, let's officially go ahead. That was so cringy. Let's go check out. Oh! Right, today we're building an aquarium, and the materials you'll need to build this aquarium, you need gorilla duct tape. Like I'm talking solid duct tape. You're gonna need to go on the side of your house, grab yourself a nice recycling bin. Real easy, as you can see, pretty dirty on the inside, but we don't need to worry about the inside. Palm liner goes right over it, right? Put that to the side. Make sure the folds are all nice and neat off the sides here. Because what this duct tape will do, will keep that tarp pinned to the side of the recycling bin. This acts as if it's like a cooler. Pretty much just like a cooler, but, but we're having fun doing it. Straight thickness. Woo. Get that corner. Straight down the recycling bin. Go. Go to this corner. Make sure all your tarp is actually like folded. Cause you want to make it look nice. You want to make it look neat, not just random tarp everywhere. You get that? Go straight down off this. Boom to the recycling bin. Oh yeah. All right, that's one side. All around duct taped. Around the whole entire recycling bin. As you can see, look at that recycling. Be sure to recycle. But anyway, look at this. It is literally, you wouldn't even notice if I was to bury that in the ground, you would never notice that was a recycling bin. Travel, first and foremost. We need to cut holes in the bottom of the bag and then rinse these suckers out. That's so what you want to do. Pop a hole in the corner of your bag so that you can get the water into it. And then go. Want to make sure no rocks get inside your sink drain because uh, I've been through that one and had to pay some money to get that fixed. So. Let's not do that again. As you can see, that water is going in the bag, but then draining right out the bottom. Look at that, you can see the water slowly going down the bag and out that. Boom, so there's one bag. After rinsing that for a bit, I'm gonna get the other bag out now. 
can do the same. Here we go, rocks going in. Oh, oh, oh. Ew. So sick. A little bit of those, and that is good. That's two bags of gravel straight from Walmart. Spread these out, make it look a little nice. And I did the white gravel because we have black sides. So once the water gets in it, you'll actually be able to see down to the bottom when we have our goldfish in here. Uh, the manta ray, which we don't know is gonna glow or not, that's besides the fact right now. But our air pump, I think this air pump's a little too small to be pumping this whole entire stick, but we're just gonna go along with it and see what happens. That's that, let me go outside real quick, get the plants that are gonna go into here. The core's right there from the other aquariums that we've done. I'm just gonna stick that in there. You know, why not have uh, some sort of structure? Now, of course, grass as well. We're gonna get that grass in there, shimmy it down there. Dude, this is so fun to do. Like, anytime any of you have ever recreated one of these videos, I'm sure you've enjoyed it. All right, we're just gonna keep the greens in there, so put this plant right there. And should we do these, Davis? I think so, yeah, maybe put it to towards that back. Yeah. Shimmy it back here. Put both these colorful ones back here. All right, boom, boom. Look at that structure, kind of hiding. So just like that, this thing looks amazing already. All right, so this is the pump I was talking about, 70 gallons per hour, aquascape pump right here. Pretty dope. These little guys are powerful, and I cannot wait to try it out on this one in specific. Before I get into doing anything crazy with this aquarium, let's go get some goldfish, some feeder goldfish, and uh, this will be their new home. So without further ado, let's head over to the I just did a free name brand. Nope, that, that was just oh beeped out. Oh my goodness. Out. Anyway, we're gonna head to the pet store and get some goldfish. Yeah. So, thank you. You're very welcome. Goldfish never get old. Not only because of the colors, but because they're so cheap. Four dollars for this many fish. A little feeder goldfish, but they're gonna have a little cool, happy life inside that recycle bin. I don't want to call it a recycle bin though, because it actually isn't. It's like a legit pond, like a mini pond. All right, we got our fish, and we got instead of that long stick, we got this just in case that stick doesn't have enough pressure to pump air. So this is Plan B. So there we go. Right, well, I was gonna finish off the video out here, but got a lot of noise going on with that fence being made, so we're just gonna fill up our recycling bin with the pond water. It's gonna be really clear, too. Which is gonna come in handy when we see those orange fish swimming around. All right, now we're filled up. Take a look inside of our recycling bin. Look how clear the water is. The pond, so, so. Hey, hey, hey. the pond liner is a big part in what we're doing here. Let me get this pond turned back on. Oh, look at, look at it coming down. Here it comes. We now have a running waterfall. Head back inside. Let's get the aerator in it, the pump in it, and then of course the fish. Okay, our pump, first things first. Got to have some sort of filtration, some sort of water movement, and that's what we're going to use this sucker for right here. Very neatly packaged. Holy moly, that thing is tiny. It's a little tiny aquascape pump. Flow can go up to two feet. Max flow is 70. The water is three. Voltage is 120 for all those that wanted the real details. And it pumps 70 gallons per hour. See that little flow? That's what you want. That's what you want right there. Some sort of movement in the water, and that will keep these fish nice and healthy. What I'm going to do is actually stick it to the side. See, it's got suction cups for a reason, and that's exactly what that's for. So now if I stick that to the side right there, it'll stay suction cup to the liner and just pump water. See how the water's being pumped this way? On that curve, it just turns and it keeps on going around the aquarium. That's exactly what you want. Circular flow. All right, manta ray time. Enough of talking about this thing. Let's get this thing inside the aquarium. Stink pull. Holy moly, that one far. Does it stick to the ground or does it float? It floats? What's the point of that? What the heck? I thought it suction cup to the... What? You can kind of see it on you, camera. You can yeah, kind of yeah, see the... Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can see the green glow. Okay, so those who guessed yes, it would glow. You are indeed correct, but I don't know why it floats. That just, that's whack. All right, so we got our long core, which we're not gonna need nearly as much as we thought we would need, because this is not a high tank. Our pump, which is the aerator pump in general. Pop this open. It's a little tiny pump. And that is why I call it the mini recycle bin aquarium because many things. You could actually angle this pump to like, look at that, you can create like straight oxygen. That is so cool. Pumping a lot of water, right? I turn that lever down, see how it pumps less. 
So if you have smaller fish, you don't want them to be flown around like beta fish and stuff, that's when you turn that little lever right there down to negative and it won't flow nearly as hard. But we're gonna want this thing kicking, so we're going all the way up. All right, and now we have pretty much the final product. That's it. Look at the air. It's being pumped, 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 straight oxygen. Over here we got our flow going around. This is how you do it homemade style right here. A recycling bin straight from the side of the house. Put a pond liner in it. Got some water from the backyard pond. Put some gravel in there. Got some plants. Even a little structure. And uh, that's how you do it. That is a homemade fish tank without the glass on the side. But I really don't know what to call this. Is it a pond? Is it an aquarium? It's kind of both. But all I know is it is time to acclimate our 20 goldfish we got from the pet store. So we're going to put these guys in. Give it a little bit. And then... Uh, go from there. Okay, now we got our big old net here. And this right here is what we're gonna get these goldfish into that tank with because you don't wanna put aquarium water from pretty much anywhere else unless you really do trust that water uh, when you do buy a fish. Just dump it over a bucket just like this. A good tip is get a five gallon bucket, put your net right on top of it, get your bag of fish, grab it from the corner, make sure there's no fish under your fingers, and just go like that. Boom, once all your fish are in there, you got a nice bunch of goldfish right there, and here we go. Go free, little guys. Dude, that is sick, dude. Yeah, they yes. like it. I'm telling you, the white gravel is key, like key to making this aquarium, because without the white gravel, you wouldn't be able to see those goldfish nearly as well, especially since you have the black sides. You have that white gravel with the black sides, it really makes them stand out. And the last thing to do is get the approval from Lulu. Lulu, what do you think about this? I know, you don't want to be above the water. What do you think about it? I don't think she approves, Paul. Dude, I think she just really... Like, she wants food. Should we get some underwater shots, shall we? Of course. So that's that. If you guys did go on to enjoy me building this thing, mom, can any kid have an aquarium? Yes. This really just shows it, doesn't it? Anyone can have an aquarium, just do it the right way. This is just a really cool way to do it, but it is just like a fish tank. Just like a fish tank. There's no difference besides there's not glass on the side, it's just a recycling sign. But it does show how easy it is. Look at all this fan art behind me. This is all your guys' stuff. All you gotta do is check out the link in the description. There's a P.O. box. Send on art right over to there, and I'll have you on the next wall we're gonna do is this one right here. So be sure to send on over to that. If you guys haven't done so already, follow me on Instagram. And you can check out Davis, he's down there as well. I'm trying to hit 100K. I'm at like 71,000 I believe, but we're getting close. So if you have an Instagram, you haven't followed me already, do so down below, please. I'd really appreciate it. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Become a Kefaro today. Other than that guys, Davis and I are heading to Sarasota. We're gonna film a dope Instagram video, so. Well, that is all I got for you today. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Dominic Pate. Believe. Yes, Dominic Pate. You are the best. Keep up the good work on YouTube. You are my favorite YouTuber. Appreciate that, Dom. Thanks to everyone for the support down below. If you want to want a positive comment, shout out. I say it every time. All you got to do is drop a positive comment down in the comments below, and you could have your comment in one of these upcoming videos. Thanks for watching me build this little goofy uh, half slash. I really don't know what it is. You let me know <laughs> down in the comments down below. But got a recycling bin, put liner in it, and boom, bang, boom. I will have a link below if you guys want to buy.